Meanwhile, a Delaware County Catholic school goes up in flames, forcing nearby residents out of their homes overnight until firefighters could get the situation under control. And now investigators are trying to pinpoint what sparked the fire at Our Lady of Angels School. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live near that scene this noon with a look at the damage. Matt. Well, that damage to the school behind me is extensive. If you take a closer look, you can see much of the school is boarded up. But if you take a peek through that door there, you can see much inside of it is charred. Why did this happen to happen to this place? Flames lit up the sky here at Our Lady of Angels around 11 o'clock last night. It's really sad. Back in my mind, I was thinking, OK, this can't be true. But the fire was so aggressive. And the smoke in the air so thick, it forced several nuns, plus 40 other people who live nearby, out of their homes. We couldn't even see in the street because the smoke was just like so intense. Fire crews contained the flames around one this morning and were able to pull this statue of the Virgin Mary out from the debris. It was donated to the school from the class of 2013. It's important to a lot of people at the school. That's like a blessing. Like, I can't thank the firemen enough. But crews were not able to save the school itself. We did the best we could, but there were heavy, uh, heavy fire conditions upon arrival. This morning, as contractors boarded up windows, we got a better look at the damage inside. Chopper 3 over the scene, showing what was once a place full of classrooms, is now gutted. The roof collapsed, the damage so extensive, fire officials say the school is destroyed, and with it, so many memories. I went through here for eight, eight years. Why would something happen like this to a school? It is a very tight community, and I think that, uh, again, we have a lot of support, I'm sure. It will work out. And back out here live, the Monsignor says he does not think anyone was inside the building at the time when the fire started. He has no idea what caused it either, although he points out the boiler was just removed from the building yesterday. Meantime, summer camp held at the school is canceled for today. No word on when it might resume. Reporting live in Delaware County, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you.